How y'all doing? God bless you in Jesus' name. Um, I just realized something. If we go to October the 1st, uh, 2019, this, I figured it out. Um, Jupiter, this is a totally planet alignment. All the, the, all the ones that were there before are there. And let me show you. Um, they're all there. And the moon's at her feet too. Okay, I gotta go back a little further. And Jupiter's in the picture too. This is a planetary alignment. Okay, there's Jupiter. There's the moon. Mercury, Venus, Mars, the sun. All of these were part of the great sign. They all come back. October the 1st, 2019. That is the rapture. See, in my previous videos, I told everybody, one date led to the next date. I never... I saw the great sign with the moon. Like, I could have gone month after month. I could have, I could have dragged this out. I didn't want to do that because it's wrong. God, I didn't feel right. God was like, like you can't do that. I, I mean, the moon... Goes in to Virgo for the next nine months. the The moon goes into Libra. I could have dragged this out for at least eight months, nine months, and you think it's going to happen? I didn't want to do that because it's wrong. I'm seeking out the truth of the matter. It's the glory of God to conceal the matter. It's for kings to search it out. I was seek seeking. The truth. The truth is, we are leaving now. It's October the 1st, 2019. I know everybody doesn't like that date. Me, myself, I don't like that date. I wish it was sooner. We have to wait nine months. And here's something else so interesting. If you go from the moment Venus went into Libra on Christmas, if we go to the moment Venus went into uh, on Christmas, um, December the 25th, 2018, and you go to October the 1st, 2019, well, you can't count October the 1st because we're born that day. That's the rapture. It's 280 days. That's the exact, exact amount for a pregnancy. Do the math. The math doesn't lie. Not only we got the planetary alignment that doesn't happen any of the other months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, doesn't happen. Get to September, it happens. This planetary alignment happens. All the ones are there. Jupiter's there. There's Jupiter. The moon is there. Mercury, Venus, Mars, and the sun. She's clothed with the sun. All the um, all the all the players are there in the great sign. This date will come, and it will happen. Now also, it's, it's exciting. Because if you look in the Bible, it says no one knows the day or the hour. You know what's interesting about that statement? Feast of Trumpets. It's considered no one knows the day or the hour. Because they're looking for the new moon. It's called the hidden day. It's also known as a wedding. A Jewish wedding. It's like when he told us in Matthew 24, no one knows the day or the hour. It's like a message was hidden within. Only his bride can understand this. His bride. Only his bride can understand this. We've got a planetary alignment going down on Feast of Trumpets. All the same players. Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Mars, the sun, and the moon. The moon's at her feet. We go back, you can see the moon. Let me go back to where the moon was at her feet. The moon's at her feet. She's clothed with the sun. The moon's at her feet. 
Venus, Mercury, Mars, and Jupiter. There's Jupiter. All the same players are there. The moon is there. Jupiter is there. The moon. The sun. Mercury. Venus. Mars. Those were all in the great sign. This is coming to a close. The rapture is October the 1st, 2019. And... It's going to happen. Also, if you turn with me to Acts chapter 2, go to verse 17. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants both men and women. I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and sign signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and, and brillo of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness, the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. We're getting a blood moon, January the 21st. A super blood moon. And it says right here, your sons and daughters will prophesy. Well, to be a false prophet, you have to, um, you have to get it wrong. It's going to come to pass. God says in Acts 2, He's going to pour out His Spirit on your sons and daughters will prophesy. It also says, if you go down, I will pour out My Spirit in those days and they will prophesy. Well, I told in my previous videos that each day led up to a new date until I finally found the date. Of the rapture, which is October the 1st, 2019. The last day of Feast of Trumpets. I would have loved it to be now. I'm seeking the truth. Seeking the truth. I seek it. I found it. I could have dragged this out for nine months. Giving everybody hope. But deep down inside, that's wrong. I wanted the truth to come out. I wanted everybody to know the truth. Because I seek the truth. And like I said in my previous videos, God wants everybody to know He's coming now. Jesus wants everybody to know He's coming. And when God tells you to do something, you don't, you don't, you, you don't ignore it. You do it. Well, October the 1st, 2019, it will come to pass. The rapture will happen. I'm sorry and I feel sad for the ones that are mad at me. They're scoffing, mocking, and laughing their heads off. And calling me a false prophet. It's going to happen. Now, one thing people should understand. God says in Acts 2 that your sons and daughters will prophesy in the end. He's going to pour out a spirit. Well, when you go around accusing people of being a false prophet, you better be sure that they are a false prophet. Because you got to answer to God. I'm trying to tell everybody he's coming now. And like I said, deep down inside, I, got, I could not let this drag out for nine months. I could have dragged this out month after month. Because the moon goes into Virgo each month, the next nine months. The moon goes into Libra for the next nine months. I could have hit the punchline on Libra coming out of the moon every single month. But I didn't. And the reason I didn't is because I want to please my God, Jesus. I want everyone to know 
The rapture is imminent. And it's more important for my Lord Jesus. I want to please him than to get the world to love me. It's about Jesus, about God. Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, one trying God. And I want to please God. I want to please Jesus. The two are one. It says when you look at Jesus, you're looking at the Father. And he dwells in, in us with his Holy Spirit. I want everyone to know this is the date. Like before, date after day comes. But when Christmas came, the rapture didn't happen. Venus was in there for eight days. And, and the moon goes in on the eighth day. On the first. And when the first came and nothing happened, I said, What's, what am I missing here? What is, what is in the great sign? that it's, and, and it's, What is there? So I come up with the moon goes through Virgo in January and it goes through Libra. We're having that super blood moon. But then I thought, wait a second. It does it February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. It goes through Virgo all those months and Libra. But when we get to September... Is a planetary alignment. I mean, Jupiter, the moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, and the sun. Those were all there on the great planetary alignment of the great sign, the Revelation 12 sign. The sun clothed her. The moon was at her feet. We're having a planetary alignment. And all the other months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, there was no planetary alignment. None of those planets were there. They move in for Feast of Trumpets. And remember the great sign happened on Feast of Trumpets in 2017. It was September the 23rd, 2017. Everyone thought for sure it was a rapture. I even thought it. But this time, I know for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, the King is coming. It is impossible to please your Lord Jesus without faith. You need to believe in the rapture. Yes, I set Christmas, Halloween, New Year's, and those dates came and passed. But like I was telling everybody, each date led to another date. Like when I came up with this new date, the second came, and it didn't happen. The new date came, but then I didn't stop. January came. I said, maybe the rapture's in January. I couldn't stop thinking about the great sign. I said, where is this leading? I said, wait a minute. I wonder if all the other months, I wonder if um, the moon passes through Virgo for the next nine months. I was just looking. And I said, wait. Feast of Trumpets is in this is time frame. And then I looked. I wasn't sure. I said, Wait, no, it can't be. And then I looked. Sure enough, it was on Feast of Trumpets. I, I found out when Feast of Trumpets was. September the 30th, 2019 to October the 1st, 2019. And I'm like, no way. This is it. A planetary alignment. It's the rapture. He's coming now. Right now, October the 1st, 2019 is the rapture. We've got a planetary alignment. All the players are there. Jupiter, the moon, Mercury, Venus, the sun, and Mars. All those were there. The sun's even clothing her. The moon's at her feet. All on the 1st. Of October. And then the moon goes in only on the 1st. And then it comes out. Just before the 2nd. Of October. Yeah God's wrath is coming. The sword is coming. And I wish I could have. Get the date. To be sooner. Because I'm ready for Jesus to come. 
I long for my Lord Jesus. I'm excited. I want him to come get us. I can't wait to see, I can't wait to see him. His loving eyes in his throne room. But this is his plan. His will. I'm just reading the great sign. Like I told everybody, the great sign is Psalms 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. A language without speech. This is a language like sign language. It's hard to read. It's finally decoded. It's over. The rapture is going to happen October the 1st, 2019. And I've told everybody the sword is coming. And see, here's another reason why it's probably going to wait another nine months. Not only it's 280 days, more people are going to come to Jesus. Jesus has given more time for the last to come in and accept him. The very last more people are going to know Jesus as their personal Savior. So when he comes October the 10th, October the 1st, when he comes October the 1st, 2019, when he comes October the 1st, 2019, more people are going to get raptured. It's exciting. Accept Jesus. Time is out. He's a loving God. October the 1st, 2019 is going to come. But to the ones that are mocking and scoffing and laughing their heads off, and I'm so glad God woke up his bride to be. His bride knows now. And even the ones that are scoffing and mocking and laughing their heads off, they know the rapture date. When God does come, they can't say, well, I didn't know you were coming. Because you got all the ones know. Everyone knows now. And I'm sure other people on YouTube, other uh, rapture videos, they're going to come across the same date. I'm sure they're going to find the planetary alignment. Because it's out there now. Everyone knows about it. I'm sure you're going to see other videos talking about this. And they probably got the information from me watching my video. But that's okay. Like I said, it's not about me. It's about Jesus. It's about God coming back. And it's okay. I hope the whole world gets this information. The whole world needs to know. Time is out. October the 1st, 2019, it's all going to be over with for the Gentiles. Jacob's trouble is going to start. Except Jesus. We've got like, now we've got less than nine months. Because today is January the 3rd. But, remember Acts 2. God says he's going to pour, God is going to pour out his spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and all will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heaven and above and signs on the earth below. Blood and fire and brillo of smoke, the sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great glorious day of the Lord. Well, you know what? God is pouring His Spirit out on all of us. If you belong to Jesus and you've got the Holy Spirit inside of you and God dwells in you, you can see what I'm talking about. You can understand. This is for his bride. And where it says no one knows the day of the hour in Matthew 24. Feast of Trumpets out of all seven feasts. It's the only feast that no one knows the day of the hour. Because back in Bible time, they had, to, they had to look for the new moon. I think they would watch for it. 
the watchman would watch for the moon. Well, guess what? It's like a hidden message hidden within. No one knows the day of the hour. Where is bride? His bride is going to know her wedding day and the time. Like, whatever time they blow their last trump, that's probably when the rapture is going to happen. Israel is going to blow their last trump. God will blow a trump back. And only the ones that are getting rapture will probably hear this. And it's all going to be over with. So, I wish the rapture was sooner. But like I said, I'm seeking the truth. I'm not trying to deceive anyone. The truth points to October the 1st, 2019. On Feast of Trumpets of 2019. There's a planetary alignment. All the planets are there from the great sign. Every last one of them. The moon, the sun, Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. They're all there. So, accept Jesus as your personal Savior. He loves us all. Remember, the Bible says, love. John, I give a new commandment, love. It says, there's also a scripture somewhere in the Bible that says, if you don't love your brother, how can you love God who you haven't seen? God is love. And, is the world, and the Bible says, the world will know us by our love. Without, without faith, it's impossible to please God. He's coming right now. And I'm really sad for the ones that are mocking, scoffing, and laughing their heads off, and calling me a false prophet. Because it's going to come to pass. The rapture is going to happen October the 1st, 2019. It will happen. It's not my will. It's God's will. It's not my accord. It's God's core. It's Jesus' accord. Jesus is coming now. He wanted his children to know. Who is Jesus? He's not only our personal Savior. Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords. The scriptures say it's the glory of God to conceal a matter. It's for kings to search it out. I'm searching out the matter. And I've finished it. It's done. The matter is completely searched out. There's no more to search for. It's, it's, it's going to happen. October the 1st, 2019 is the rapture. I mean, a planetary alignment is going down. Almost a copy of the great sign. All the planets are there. Mars, Venus, Mars, Venus, Mercury. And Jupiter. And the moon is at her feet. And she's clothed with the sun. Well. You've got the information. You know the rapture is coming. And. I'm so glad in Jesus name. That Jesus woke up his bride. His bride now knows. It's. It's God's will. For us to know. Many recall if you were chosen. If you're not chosen, you're not his bride, you won't understand what I'm talking about. You won't see. Yes, I told everybody, each date led to another date. In fact, as soon as the date came, on the very day that it passed, I came up with a new date in my head. I didn't even have to think about it. It just came to me. And now, it's, the equation is finally finished. It's Feast of Trumpets. October the 1st, 2019. The moon is going on that last day into Libra. And then, it's going to come out just as it turns to the second. Before the second. And judgment's going to come. 
God's wrath is coming. I can't change this. I don't want to change this. I can't wait to see Jesus. And the devil and his demons, his time is short, very short. Because it's a done deal. There it's out. It came out. The midnight hour. Came out at midnight. You see that? The moon's out. At midnight. The moon is out. The midnight hour, just like the parable of the ten virgins. Five were ready. That was the chosen bride. Five went in. The door is shut. They're chosen. They went in. They had their oil. They had the Holy Spirit. The door is shut. Five didn't go in. They're called. And then he says, I, I never knew you. Keep watch because you don't know the day the hour. He's talking to the, the five that didn't go in. When a door is shut, you cannot hear what is being said. You can't. So when the text says no one knows the day the hour right there, he's talking to the five that didn't go in. The five foolish. They didn't have any oil. They didn't have the Holy Spirit. The five foolish ones. This is about a wedding. About being chosen. Many are called, few are chosen. It's not good enough to be called. You have to be chosen. A bride to be. It says... The path is narrow. Few will find it. But I'm sorry the rapture is not sooner. I seek the truth. October the 1st, 2019 is the rapture. Well, God bless you all in Jesus' name. I hope knowing... Your king is on his way. Will brighten your day. Because it brightens my day. It's all I can't. It's the only thing I can think of. I can't stop thinking. That Jesus is coming now. Looking at the world. Israel turned 70. It's God's will. Not my will. He's coming right now. Well. God bless you in Jesus name. I bind up the demons. Whatever they try to do. Will bounce in their face. Whatever they try to do to God's children. God's chosen bride. And I bind up the evildoers, the children of darkness, whatever they try to do to God's children, God's bride, well, chosen bride, will bounce in their face. They'll get in trouble instead. And protect Israel, the 144,000 Jews. Protect all of Israel, even the Gentiles, that um, the Jews that accepted Jesus. Protect all of Israel, even the Gentiles that are in Israel and the um, that are, are his bride, chosen bride, and protect the Jews, the 144,000 Jews that belong, that are the Jacob's trouble, and protect the Jews that have accepted Jesus. Protect them all. All of all of them. In Jesus' name, let your kingdom come, let your will be done. Well, God bless y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.